Yeah, really, really good practices. You can't get anything better than going against another team, putting in all the situations, looking at young players, veteran players. Um, no better team to do it against than Mike and, and the Titans. I mean, I, I thought it was outstanding work. And uh, it was great to tape as far as who did what and who didn't. And uh, I know one thing, we dropped way too many damn passes. But uh, and we had we to stop that. And just dropped it. Catch it. Ain't no, ain't no excuse. They're perfect throwing balls. You catch a damn thing. Bruce, how do you compare some of the things you can uh, get out of a scrimmage uh, as opposed to a preseason? Well, you, you know you're going to get all the situational work. Two-minute red zone, third down, uh, first down stuff, run pass options. Uh, you put them in certain scenarios that sometimes never happen in a game. You know, they ran out of offensive linemen, so we missed a couple. Uh, scenarios where it was 10 seconds or 16 seconds left at the end of the half or end of the game. So we didn't get to go those scenarios. But that's the stuff that you teach on, you go against yourself, you're just normally a walk-through period. So it's but control. It's very controlled. There's no, obviously no tackling, no touching the quarterbacks, but it's great work, great work, one-on-ones, all those type of things. Um, I didn't think he was very sharp. You know, our third down percentage, I think, was really poor in that one. We took some shots downfield when got, first down guys were open. Um, he made some really good throws that we dropped, too. So, we will grade the tape. But I didn't come off the field saying he wowed everybody. Was the goal today to get Brady a, a lot of work? Excuse me? Was the goal today to get Brady a lot of work? Oh, yeah. All our starters. All our starters to get all this, especially the offensive line, tight ends, those people hitting, doing all those things that you don't really get a lot of in practice. Uh, there's only one. There's only one. Bruce, we saw Tanner Hudson with, with a brace on his wrist from when he started playing on Saturday. Is that anything that could extend to the regular season? Um, you still got to make the team to get to the regular season. So there's a lot, there's a lot to go to there, but uh, hopefully he gets back as fast as he can because he's one of those bubble guys. This isn't the first practice where it seems like there's been a lot more drops than normal. Is that concerning in any way for you? If, you run into if, it's, if it's Mike or Chris or... Gronk, no. But if it's young players, yes. Then maybe the lights are too big. But uh, we'll go back and evaluate it. But there are way too many drops. Can you talk about the competition that the Titans DBs bring to uh, your receiving corps? Uh, very physical guys, you know. Good press coverage, very physical. That's exactly what you need to practice against. Their quarterbacks need to see their guys working those routes other than just fade balls. All right, working routes against press coverage, and uh, thought we got a lot out of that period. Bruce, it might be too much of a generalization, but did you think the offense or the defense had a better day? Well, I only saw the offense. I have to grade the tape. So uh, talking to the defensive players, they were pleased. Didn't get enough turnovers, they didn't think. Uh, offensively, it was average at best, drop balls, and we did have a couple turnovers. Coach, you uh, had a, a new addition to your equipment staff, Jeff Brady, a ball boy. Uh, <laughs> He's done a heck of a job. He knows how to get them back. And uh, he's the get back coach right now. And uh, he's doing a hell of a job. I know family is such an important thing for you. And I can imagine it was probably difficult to, if not impossible, to be able to do that last year. What's, what's it like being able to, to allow family members like that? Yeah, I mean, you know, we have Jack here. I would love to have all the teenage sons. My son was a ball boy in Wisconsin. And uh, it's a, such a great bonding experience. And. Uh, but with COVID, we are so limited still on the number of people who can be in the building. So we, keep, we can't do it for everybody. Did you block? What's that? Did you block? Who, Jack? Yeah. Oh, there's no doubt. No doubt. Bruce, do you think uh, the Fournette and uh, Ronald Jones battle, Bruce, are you confident that uh, within a couple of weeks you're going to have a pretty good gauge on, uh, on what the situation is? It really won't matter who starts. I'm very, very confident in both of them. Rose catching the ball really well. Lenny's running well. So whoever's out there, we got a premier back going. So it, it's not a matter who comes out of the tunnel because we'll come out as an offense. All right, whoever gets the first series, the other guy might get the second. So it doesn't really mean. making some inroads himself. Oh, Keyshawn had a hell of a game. He, he did a, had a great practice in special teams. So that's his niche right now. Gio's got his role. Keyshawn's trying to find roles to get a hat on Sunday. See, we get through tomorrow. 
you know, hopefully, you know, we lost one today, and uh, we'll see the numbers. But uh, hopefully, we'll still have at least seven for the ball game. What's the most important thing that you hope your team takes away from these practices this Just good, solid competition, getting better in every phase, fundamentally, scheme-wise, everything. We saw Hazy out there today. Do you expect him to play Saturday? It's going to be real iffy whether he plays. I'm just happy to see him on the practice field. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have good technique against another team's really good players, you're going to get exposed real quick. So, yeah, that's the part I love about joint practices. You know, our guys every now and then, they'll brother-in-law each other. I ain't no brother-in-law going out out there today, I promise you. This is a pretty good Tennessee team, right? I mean, you're not just scrimmaging anybody. This team's been on some good games last year. Oh, it's a heck of a football team. Good quarterback, obviously the runner, the receivers, offensive line, but they got a hell of a defense, you know, and uh, – Mike is obviously a hell of a defensive coach, but uh, all the respect in the world for their whole organization. What unique challenges does, he, does his defense pose for your guys you know, practicing against this team? Zach, what we're looking very physical, and that's what we wanted in these practices. Good, physical, tough practices, working great technique and, and scheme-wise, and uh, I think we, got, we accomplished it day one. How you doing on the vaccination numbers versus the way you want it to be? Yeah, we're way up there. I mean... By the time we get to 53, I, mean, I would anticipate being 100, plus the practice guy being 100. Um, so if not, it might be one guy. And uh, so we're in great, great shape.